on this site for one year. One year. One year. How does that feel? It has been a whirlwind year. It really has. Of course, having just come into this, this is, you know, we um, we laugh sometimes. We have in our in our hallway here in administration, we put up pictures of the old building. Many of us that spent many years there, you know, have fond memories of that building, and certainly they did many, many great things in that building, taking care of patients. I don't think our patient care has changed, you know, as far as uh, the caring and the, the the uh, efficiency that we have, it's just the efficiency in the building, just the, from the layout that's, that's allowed us to do other things that we couldn't do before. Have you had any unanticipated problems here? Uh, there, a question I always like to, to ask mm -hmm. people uh, when they come into a political office is, mm -hmm. uh, what was the difference between the expectation and the reality? Mm -hmm. The expectation of coming into the building as opposed to the reality of it. Well, honestly, Mike, I, I can't really, from the standpoint of the CEO here, I, I really can't uh, say that we've had any problems that were not anticipated. Um, I think probably now we are starting one year into it, and this has just recently come up, is that we, um, we probably didn't think through some of the cost of maintaining some of this wonderful technology and equipment that we have. Unfortunately, that's a reality, and that's something that we, you know, probably should have thought through. I don't think we would have done it any differently, but we might have made better plans for it because um, anyone that's in the world of technology knows that nothing is cheap and nothing is free. And the, it's kind of like, a, I, I called the other day, I said, we've kind of created this, uh, this monster that keeps growing because it's, it's a wonderful thing to have, but you've got to have service maintenance agreements and a lot of our one-year warranties are starting to uh, terminate. Yeah. And now we're having to look at the increased cost of preventive maintenance, which you, you, know, you can't be without. So I think that's probably, if there's anything I'd say we probably did not anticipate as well as we should, we probably should have thought a little bit more about all of the new equipment they were getting and the technology they were getting and the ongoing upkeep and maintenance of those things. Well, that's where, you know, it's so important to have foundation support, mm -hmm. PS grants, oh. just email it to it. <laughs> yeah. Margaret, uh, you know, the hospital has its critics. Mm -hmm. and I think the one thing you hear from them more than anything else, yeah, it's a new hospital, it's, it's got the same mm -hmm. old people in it, mm -hmm. the, the same old procedures. Mm -hmm. But that's not really true. It is not and, true at all. No. And, and uh, I want to give you the opportunity mm -hmm. to address mm -hmm. that. What, you know, what are, uh, you know, how do you answer that? Okay. What, what are you doing to change the perception? Well, of you know, of course, I think the perception, I, I have lived in several towns and I believe Me there is a perception of yeah. every facility, it's always better out of town, you know. It's kind of like, uh, Mike, have you heard the saying, an expert is someone from out of town with a briefcase. You know, it's always someone, something better out of town. But the grass is not always greener on the other side. And I think that's one of the things, I too have heard comments like, well, it's a Band-Aid station. What, we will never become a major cardiac surgery center or a neurology surgery center or a research center. That is out of our scope. Our scope is to provide general health care. Uh, we can do uh, just general surgeries here such as uh, laparoscopic. We have a surgeon that could go anywhere in this United States or the world and with her expertise in laparoscopic surgery would be a welcome addition anywhere. Very talented in, in the laparoscopic surgery for such as gallbladders, but hernias, I mean just, just the major appendectomies, uh, all of these major just surgeries, just what we call bread and butter type surgeries, um, can be done right here. We have uh, Dr. Teresa Minor McCallie. surgeries, but major if they're right. to you. Right, absolutely. <laughs> always major if it's you. Um, Dr. Teresa McCallie and then Dr. Moses Menendez and 
one of the things that we've had since July of last year is a wound care clinic. Dr. Menendez has 30 years of specialty in wound care, and uh, he was over in um, Medical Center of South Arkansas for a number of years. He's been in Baylor uh, working and wanted to come back home to South Arkansas, and we were very pleased to have him choose Magnolia Regional Medical Center to, to practice in. So we have a clinic here that probably sees 15 to 25 wound care patients every Monday in clinic, and then from that, we also have some surgeries that come from that, such as debridements and amputations, and um, he also does diabetic care and that type of thing. So are that is amputations here regularly. Mm -hmm. We do, absolutely we do. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's a that's one of those surgeries that uh, you know that uh, you, that is required well, that we can no do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have certainly thought that would have required major. No, no, no. We we can do that here. Uh, and Dr. Menendez is is, is uh, very very skilled in that. Uh, so we we do have two major skilled surgeons that that we're very proud to have here, and we you know we want the public to use that. I, it it upsets me as the administrator of a hospital when I hear someone's well I've got a gallbladder I've got to go to Texarkana or Little Rock. No, you don't. You know, and I think it is a perception in the, the hospital uh, over the years, the older hospital, that we are going to have to work to change. I don't think just because, and I totally agree, you know, just because we move into a new building does not mean that the care is better. We have to prove that. We have to show that to the community. And I think if they give us that opportunity,